You this morning, the Sepulveda Basin closed to drivers and pedestrians alike because of flooding. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live in Encino with details on how long the closure will last. Annie Rose, good morning. Hi, Megan and Chris. Good morning to you both. Well, we appreciate Henry really determining that dispute we were having earlier. We do, in fact, feel floaty here which I guess means that this is indeed a drizzle. Day two of this storm, John, yes, my photographer John is victorious in this debate. Um, not indeed a light rain, but a drizzle. But day two, and we know that it got much, much harder in terms of the rain yesterday and overnight, and that has caused road closures here and that in fact is what's happening here at the Sepulveda Basin. We're standing at Herve Havenhurst and Burbank, but we know it's the same uh, type of closure on the other side of the basin at Woodley Avenue from Victory Boulevard to Burbank. This is an area, of course, very fl prone to flooding. Parking enforcement cars on either side of the basin blocking off the roads here so nobody accidentally drives through by mistake. We know multiple city departments are working together to close the Sepulveda Basin for the safety of pedestrians and motorists alike. They closed it because of flooding yesterday afternoon at around 4 p.m. That was announced by Mayor Karen Bass, the LA River running right through this basin. And this is a look at the river yesterday evening. You can really see how strong the flow of it was because of that, all that rain and the storm. LA Homeless Service Authority telling us their outreach workers are offering resources to those experiencing homelessness who may be camped out here in this basin. But two weeks ago, we wanna bring up some video right here from this very same basin, you're looking at video and you can see how much this area flood, flooded the roads throughout this entire area. People even had to be rescued by swift water rescue teams and urban rescue teams from chest deep water. Some cars also getting stuck right here in this area in that flooding and drivers needed to get rescued too. Uh, just water is, like I said before, is very deceiving, uh, can be very deadly. Um, even if it doesn't look like it's moving, it definitely can be moving underneath the surface. You don't know what lies underneath the surface. Um, so s standing water, running water, uh, during these types of weather, just stay away from it. All right, so we know that the Encino Golf Course, Lake Balboa on the other side, and this is not just obviously much trafficked area for cars, but it's also a big heavily trafficked area for pedestrians, motorists, bicyclists. And so that is, remains closed throughout this entire morning for any kind of mode of transportation, really, if you're trying to get through Burbank Boulevard. And we know, as Ginger's been saying all morning long, that's going to provide stress on those other streets and the 101 freeway and the 405. So definitely going to want to plan for that on your morning commute this morning. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.